So we talked before about how the ureter usually crosses, sorry, the, the ovarian vein usually crosses the ureter at L3, L4, L5, somewhere in there. And that this not only can happen there and is the body's, it's, since that's a natural status for, for crossing, then usually things are a little bit more um, forgiving in that area. The vein can also cross lower at the pelvic brim. It can, the vein can squeeze off the ureter against the psoas or against the external iliac artery. And in that case, like, let's say against the if if the if the ovarian vein is squeezing off the ureter against the external iliac artery, then you could be having lower extremity um, symptoms. Since it's squeezed off against the artery, there could be compression of the artery too, to some degree, and that could like make you have a cold leg on one side, for instance. So these things, what you know. What causes the compression? Oh, I can show you here. Here's the here's the external iliac vein and artery. And so it crosses over here. So it would, it would be kind of like a congenital anomaly to have like things switched up here, or it could just be a fascial constraint that you have fascia that's getting pulled somewhere else in your body. And so it's changing the course of things, or you have something else that is kind of like um, altering the function and the movement of these organs, like a prior injury, um, something like that, that's changed how well things move on each other. Um, and then, and then you can get compression. So here's the psoas. There's the external iliac right here, external iliac artery, which this picture doesn't show. They go over, but it still can. Um, and it usually crosses right here.